Listen. We've all heard about big game hunters, all right, marching through the jungles of Africa. Well, the men you're going to meet tonight, gang, make these guys look like wimps, like they're hunting inchworms in Hawaii. Tonight, we meet the shrewdest, slickest, boldest hunters who stalk their prey in the jungles of Harlem, the slums of Watts, south side of Chicago. Plus, we'll meet some folks who say bounty hunters are the real wild animals, and they're the ones who should be locked up. Bounty hunters, protectors of the law, or violent vigilantes. I want them on my side, pal. Join us. <laughs> Let me introduce you to some of the folks we got at home base with us. And uh, gentlemen at Loudmouth number one. Let's start with J David Schultz, who is a bounty hunter. Doctor, how are you? I'm great. Nice to see you, pal. Nice to see you. We got Stan Ripkin, a bounty hunter. I guess Stan of over 30 years now, huh? 33, right? 33 years. Nice to see you too, pal. What's that hat say on it? Uh, it no. just got a white tail. Those there. teeth from guys that you captured up there? Yeah. <laughs> And at uh, home base, loudmouth number one, Job uh, Matuso. Is that right, Job? Job is with the Gandhi Peace Center. And Jailhouse Anonymous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me start with Stan. Stan, you've been a bounty hunter for over 30 years now. We just established 33. I understand Robert De Niro rode around with you for his latest role as a bounty hunter in Midnight Run. Who hires you, and who the hell are you tracking down? Uh, I'm hired by the bail bondsmen or the bail bondsmen's insurance companies, and I go after anybody from uh, spitting in the street to uh, murder. So a guy, uh, a bail bond, a guy goes in, uh, the court says uh, $5,000 bond, bail bondsman is up for, is on the nose for five grand. Right. Actually about 4500 because he got 500 in cash, 10% down usually, right? Well, that's in all well, over the United States but, but except New York. He, he's on the tip for five, right, right, for five right. grand, right? So uh, he doesn't want to lose that money. You go out looking for him. How much bail does a guy have to have jumped before you go looking for him? The reason I ask that, you got $5,000 bail. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're not going to travel uh, to uh, Frankfurt, Germany to go after some guy that's going to cost you more to go get him. What are you talking about? Well, now, uh, I mean, I, I still go after anything, practically. I have to take the good with the bad. I mean, to keep the bondsman happy, well, you, you know, my wife accused me of the same damn thing. <laughs> I get a lot of trouble for that. I, I want you to take your, what, what I want you to do, where's the monitor? Some of the folks in the studio see this, all of you folks at home. Uh, let's see exactly what you do and how you do it. Let's see it on the monitor, gang, all right? All right, so uh, what you're telling me then, Dr. D, let me come to you, sir. You, you, I guess you have the most difficult job of any hunter because you're, you're often tracking an often dangerous species of criminal. As a bounty hunter, what type of force are you able to use when you bring someone in? I have the right to use whatever force necessary to obtain an individual which is escaped from the law and which I'm after. All right, when you say... <laughs> Guy gives you a hard time, smacks you in the face, what do you do? Well, nobody will tell him not to do it again. He'll know better next time. I'll throw him to the ground, I'll cuff him, and I'll uh, throw him in the car and take him to jail. Guy if comes at you with a knife, what do you do? I'll shoot him. <laughs> Job, Job, you call these bounty hunters uh, the real villains, all right? How can you compare David and Stan here to the human waste that they hunt down. I mean, 
they hunt them down, drag them back to justice. I have no objection to them finding somebody, but what I object to is no accountability, no licensing. They can do anything they want. And somewhere along the line, the president couldn't do what he wanted in, in uh, Iran Gate. We've got to have accountability. If there's no license. Who are they accountable to the Pablum Pukers who are going to let them go again? No, for instance, they're... I, I'm not arguing that point with you. There's an association of bail bond enforcers in the United States. Why doesn't that association set up a licensing for itself and govern itself? Keep the government out of it. I'm not saying the government has to be the accountable agency, but I'm saying somebody has to set up accountability. Let's say, David, you're doing fine. And you respect the law, and you respect somebody's rights. Sure, if somebody pulls a knife, you're going to shoot him. Nobody's going to argue with you on that. But we're talking about the guy who just got out of jail, who's going to work for some sleazy bails bondsman down the street, who doesn't give a hoot about anybody. And I know of cases where they've picked up women on minor violations and left small children in the house unattended. Neighbors found them well, two see, days later. Well, you're not talking about a bounty hunter. You're talking about a sleazy piece of garbage that should have never been out of, let out of jail in the first place. <laughs> talking about Stan Rifkin or Dr. D. David Schultz. We don't do that. We're not talking about you, but That's we're talking right. about bounty hunters. Yeah. Let's say you're well, okay and you're what accountable. You wait, wait a minute. What you're you okay and you're are? accountable. But how about that sleazy guy down the street that some bail bondsman in Joplin or somewhere else in the country hires and does something which isn't accountable? How many We've... times does that ever happen? It happens Get, a lot. Tell me a time. Name me a time. It happens a lot. Name me one time. One time. Ooh. What, what, what do you get your statistics? What are you from the Mahatma yeah, Gandhi Foundation? Of <laughs> Who are you? I mean, where do you come? What, 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 what are you against? Job, just give what us. What did they do it to you? I just want to let Did I'm they do it to you? Out. What? Did they do it to you? No, they've done it to clients of ours in Jailhouse Anonymous. That's who. They've done it to clients. Give me one Ooh. case. Yeah. Who said? Who said that? Who said they had done it, Job? Was it the client who said they had done it that way? No, the client didn't say it. I won't can argue tell that us who, with can you. Can you tell us who said they did? No, I can't talk about who I get my, my sources from. Oh! Oh! It just doesn't seem to me. I'm sure. I'm sure. Let's, let's just string everybody up and end it all. But we still got to have... Yeah! We gotta have accountability. We gotta have accountability. When somebody walks into your house and it's not accountable, watch out. Oh, it happened to me and you freak out. Come on. Get lost. <laughs> let me give you let me give you the bounty hunter law, right? Let me give you the bounty hunter law. Professional bondsmen in the United States enjoy extraordinary powers to capture and use force to compel the return of a bail jumper, all right? Now when a guy bail jumps bail or a lady. Chances are they're guilty as hell of the crime of which they're accused. As we know, as hey, we know. Me, oh, just a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'll correct something there. When he jumps bail and he didn't come in, not, not, he may be guilty or he may not be guilty, that son of a gun is guilty of failure to appear. And uh, that is what we go after, failure to appear. We don't go after him for the original charges. When he has a failure to appear, we go after him for that charge only, and so, he is guilty. So like the law he says, is guilty Doc, when we like go the law him. says, you return the bail jumper, and you may go not only into the state where the bail was granted, but in other states as well without resort to public authorities, either to the police to effect arrest or the appropriate state officials to bring about extradition. Am I correct? That's right. Now, most of the time but you guys... But it's that second wait bit, a the second. extradition. Wait a second, Mahatma. Okay. Most of the time... Yeah. Most of the time... These guys, the professionals like these gentlemen, do let the police know you're in town, don't you? Yes, All we do. Yes. And let me tell you something. I used to work for CRS, the Justice Department. You familiar with that? Mm -hmm. Yes. And I had to go undercover. And I had to go into towns to take care of insurrections that were about to take place, all right? Twice, I reported to the police to let them know. Twice, those police were in cahoots with the people I were after and damn, not got, damn near got killed, all right? And I know so police, make you nervous. And police agencies usually will tell Bell... Uh, bounty hunters who get lost, they don't want to yeah, get involved. No, you're a liar there. They've never told me to get lost never. because they expect me, they respect me because I have the next life. Tell you what we're going to do. Next, I'd like you to meet a private eye who says Schultz and Ripken will probably end up in jail themselves like the guys they stalk. I need to meet this wimp. <laughs> children 
are the future teach them well and let them lead the way show them all the beauty they possess inside if you could help just one child if you could change just one life would you do it through foster parents plan you have the power to lift a child and family out of shocking poverty and for so very little you can help them have life-saving food and vaccines clean water schooling and above all hope all it takes is 22 dollars a month just 72 cents a day when you call we'll send you your foster child's picture and personal story through regular progress reports you'll see a life transformed and you'll feel a part of it through personal notes and drawings help a needy child discover a truly great love your love and i don't want anyone driving my xt while i'm away you understand the new subaru xt6 has a powerful six-cylinder engine computerized full-time four-wheel drive and a design which makes it hard to resist somebody drove my car who was it la, 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 bam, da, da, da. up to one thousand dollars cash back from subaru means a great deal on a great car Hey, gang, if you thought 9 o'clock was a good time to watch the Mort Downey Jr. show, you won't want to miss us at our new time, 11.30 p.m. We'll be taking on Johnny on NBC, the movie on CBS, Ted Koppel on ABC, and we're going to break some rules. The Mort Downey Jr. show moves to 11.30 starting next week. If we can improve our children's education, our children can improve the world. Join Roland Smith for a special look at Channel 9's A Plus for Kids project, Monday night at 8. Transportation for the Morton Downey Jr. Show furnished by Quality Limousine Service. When in New Jersey, call 201-785-9071. Why do you want to kill this guy? Hey, don't you read the papers, knucklehead? Dumbest bounty hunters I've ever seen! You couldn't even deliver a bottle of milk! I tell you, pal, it isn't happening at the OK Corral. It didn't happen in those days. It's happening right now. And you really need some with the rise in crime. We got John Perry with us. He's a private investigator. He is at loudmouth number two. John, you've heard how our esteemed bounty hunters operate. The leeway that they have in going after bail jumpers. I understand you oppose their tactics. Why? Well, I, I oppose the tactics only because there's no supervision with these guys. Uh, the requirements, first of all, to be a bounty hunter, you got to be over 20 years old. Am I correct? What I look like, 15, 16? Okay. <laughs> okay. What I look like? What I look like, a kid? Do I need supervision to go on the street? Well, no, but I mean, how uh, do they need supervision the when they I go mean, out here and rape somebody 25, 30 yeah! times? What I'm trying to get across to you is 20 years old. That's all you got to be. You can be an escapee from a psycho ward. If you're over 20 years old, you can go out and become a bounty hunter. Right. You're a bounty... Whoa, well, wait a minute. How many of you people have been on bail? Huh? Don't tell me none of you people have been on bail. You want some psycho like this coming after you? Yeah. Huh? I have brought people back without the bounty. I'm you not going after the, the bounty. the original Munsters? You look a lot like that guy. I know, the Adams family. Adams family. Here's an example. We, we got a bounty hunter up in Boston. I don't know who he is, but there was an article about him recently in the Boston Globe. This guy is a convicted felon, not allowed to carry a weapon. So what does he do? He goes out and he hires a guy who's got a license to carry, and now they're out bounty hunting. Now, there's, now there's a pair that beats a full house. There's two up there. Right, the what guy are you, what are you bitching felon. about? What are you bitching about? A guy takes a criminal yeah. out to catch a criminal, and he got a guy that's well, who legally set you up as judge and jury? What? Yeah. Who set you up as judge and jury? Well, I didn't say I was a judge and jury. Well, you sure the law. Law. I go and get Is that your uniform? How long have you been? Is that your How uniform? How long have you been a PI? Eleven years. Eleven years. A your name is what, Mr. That. Cherry? A narcotics cop before that. You're Mr. Cherry. Let me tell you. Is that your uniform? Your license. Is that your uniform? You know what you are? You're a licensed.
peeping Tom. who were accused of murder, who were walking because they didn't do it because they hired me. My guy in the Big Dan case walked because I proved he was innocent. Jim Craig, the hockey player, is on the street because I proved him innocent. You want to talk about oh, people? Big deal. Talk big about deal. Big deal. Yeah. Who cares? I've been who a cares? PI for 33 years. Is that your uniform? This is my uniform. I raise my case. Yeah. I... You know, is that your uniform? Tell you. you know where my diploma comes from? The school of hard knocks. Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Where's your license? If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked the cake. I would have brought it. You asked if that is his uniform, right? I rest my case. Then you said you rest your case. Wear those duds down in Amarillo, Texas, pal, and they'll paddle your ass all the way to the corral. Yeah, I'm not gonna... <laughs> Let me come back here. Come back here. Stan. Hey, hey, Mort, the only thing they got in Amarillo was helium gas. Gas, friend. Oh. Let me ask Stan, are you guys... Are you guys so trigger happy that like every other government bureaucracy, you need to be licensed, registered, and take four exams to become eligible and make sure those exams go through another bureaucracy, which is run by punks like him, to make sure that no one ever gets caught and all the business goes to the PIs and How they stand around the and see says and look in the windows? Tradition before? No, well, let's talk about why don't you set up your own organization, keep the government out of it, shut up, keep the government out of it, and clean up your own act. Let's say you're okay, we're not accusing you of anything, but you can't tell me that every bounty hunter in America is legit and does it by the oh, There's rotten apple. Hey, they nearly. They so nearly, why don't you organize yourselves and clean up your act? They the president, didn't they? Why there's don't you clean up your act? Clean up your act, that's all. You what do you mean? Not the they government. point at me and yeah. say, clean up my act. I you never can... made a false arrest. I never did anything wrong. How can you make wrong? an arrest, period? You don't have the authority. What are you talking about? Everyone has, has authority. Authority. Everyone has the authority. I don't need and they don't need a warrant to make a citizen's arrest. And if you have something more than a little piece of P.I., you know that. Hey, Mort, let me, let, me, hey, Mort, let me respond to him, Mort. Can I respond to him? I can't hear you. You said we, we're not allowed to make an arrest? You better, as a private eye boy, I wouldn't come to you, you to find out if I was jaywalking to defend me in a jaywalking ticket. <laughs> we can't make a legal arrest when bail is given. How many big times do you go after? The principal is regarded as a continuance of the original How many big timers do you go after? Big How many timers? what? How many big timers do you go after that jump big bail? Big timers? Yeah. They're all big timers. Name them. Name them. Do you, you haven't done your homework. Do you want me to quote you the law that we can do it the without law hasn't extradition? Been changed since late 1970s. Don't change the subject. The you law want has not to... been changed since the 1700s. Both. private eye shake this way where the money comes from. You bet your choice. You know when the law was, when it, that was an 1892 decision. In 1984. 1872, Taylor and Tainter. Oh, 1872. thank you, Your Honor. 1872. Do you know the law? It, that was a decision. It wasn't a law. 1872. That was a decision. It was written into law October 14th, 1984. When by was the Ed, amendment? By Edwin Meese, the Attorney General. 
Before it was I'm only sure three paragraphs. Now it's about five or six pages. So Sleaze Meese gave us the law. Thank you. Okay, now was, was that an amendment? Have you, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Wait, a second, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been arrested? Yes, I have, and I've served time. Have you ever been in jail? Yes, I've been in prison. Have Penitent. you ever served time? Five years. Five years? Yes, sir. That's five years more than the guy you call Sleaze Meese now. That's okay. Tell you what. Next, we're going to meet a convicted killer who says he dares any bounty hunter to come after him. He's up next. <laughs> Miss Lee Press-On Nails for smaller hands. Easy to put on as regular Lee Press-On Nails with four extra nails. 24 in all for a more perfectly beautiful fit. Fun at your fingertips. Miss Lee Press-On Nails. Introducing Lee Sculptured Nails. Long-lasting like salon nails, but affordable because you do them at home. Just glue, brush, shape. If you can polish your nails, you can enjoy Lee Sculptured Nails like nothing you've ever used before. Introducing Popeet. The amazing storage container that expands and collapses to fit the food to save the space. You create the size you need. Only one cup left. Look at the difference. Messy cabinets, Popeet is the ultimate space saver. You'll get three quart size Popeet, three quart and a half size pieces, three one half gallon pieces, and the giant half gallon bottle. Now only $19.95. Use your credit card to order now. Use your credit card and call 1-800-435-8400. So you think you've heard it all, right? Well, you ain't heard nothing yet, pal. There's plenty of news ahead at 10. So you'd be watching them if you know what's good for you. Enough. Deal. Did somebody say deal? Your Dodge dealer has hot numbers and big rebates on almost everything in stock. Get an imported Dodge Colt. Save up to $12.89. Ram 50 pickup. Save up to $14.06. Or Dodge Vista. Save $800. So if you want a great deal, hey! Well, are you going to deal? Did somebody say deal? See your Tri-State Dodge dealers today for final clearance on all Dodge cars and trucks. The critical shortage of substitute teachers in our schools has a negative impact on education. To solve the problem, districts should set up incentive programs that would reduce the teacher absentee rate. Fully certified teachers should be employed to fill in where needed. Efforts must be made to attract qualified substitutes by increasing salaries. Without proper class coverage, it is our students who suffer. Let me introduce you to a gentleman by the name of Gino Gentile, convicted right. of negligent homicide and manslaughter. Spent seven months in jail for beating a guy to death. Couldn't handle it, then I spent two and a half years oh. in jail for manslaughter and all this stuff. Gino, let me ask you a question, pal. You spent time in jail for both those charges. Right. And at times, you've been a fugitive. How would you respond if a bounty hunter came after you? <laughs> First of all, if any bounty hunter would come after me, and they couldn't come after me. Because they, first of all, if I saw them come at the door, they have their uh, whatever they had. Hey, I'm going to jump on them. I will die there. I was there for two years. I was on the run. And I never seen a bounty on a Matter of fact, I never even seen a cop. Look, 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 look at me. 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 I'm Dr. D. David Schultz. Come right. to New Haven. Come to New Haven. Come to New Haven, Connecticut, and walk, uh, jaywalk and get put in jail, and this man right over here, Mr. Paul Jacobs, will bond you out, and then you'll have a failure to appear. And you will have the first. I will come and get you. I know. I will come hey, I'm I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm I will come and get you. I would expect you to come at me, but I'm telling you, 
I will stand my ground because first That's of right. all, well, okay, I'm not okay, a sleazy okay. rape artist. No, 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 no. Hey, I, hey, I understand what uh, you're saying. If you want to stand just, there, if you want to stand there, uh, you're the one. You, you decide if you want me to you use excessive force because you will go together when I come at you. No, no, no. Hey, and, okay. I understand. I understand. Why don't you shut up? John. I don't want to talk to you. So you shouldn't even be out here on the show. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking with a man here who's got five times more sense than you. You shouldn't even be out here. You ought to pack your bags and go home. I understand. I want to know. I didn't go out and beat side. The guy was going to stab me. So let's not think that. I was after, I was running on the run because I, huh? Because he had no other choice. I was bigger than him. So listen, and all I, right? I'm just saying I will stand my ground. I will not be the person to have to, and I didn't even run and hide just to go to show you, right? The FBI wanted me. I was on every newspaper from New York Times to the LA Times. You know, I was, a, uh, and they never, and I walked the streets. I worked in a movie theater. Yeah. So yeah. I just hey, want you to know. Okay. Hell, he was okay. a hey, hey, he was I, an assistant producer of the TV show Wanted Dead or Alive. Hey. Yeah. Hey, I, I understand what you're saying. I know where you're coming no, no, no. from. And uh, like I say, all you gotta do is come to New Haven. And I know some people in New Haven can have police department. They will help me. If they don't handle the police department, the street crime unit will come with me to get you if I can't get you by myself. Right. And if they can't get you, we'll call out some more street crime unit. We will take your ass to go. I also got sucked into this. No, no, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. See, David, you're, you're being legit. You're, you're being legit. Let's get this straight. We're talking not about you who would go out and get the police to say we got to pick this guy up and who will work through the establishment. We're talking about some clown who doesn't well, want to. Well, hold on. Let me, let me clarify something here. Okay. You're saying that I'm legit and you're saying Mr. Stan here is legit. If you're so we're bounty hunters, off. right? I you're behind know. us, right? Uh, what what the hell are you doing out here knocking us here? Knock them son of a bitches out there. Let me, let me go to Stan. Let me go to Stan. Let me go to Stan while this guy reads up on what the hell the laws are. I want to put on my disguise. All I can say is, <laughs> if, you, if you ever jump bail, and I have I don't to, want the city to... If you ever see. jump bail and I have to come to get you, you can show your soul to God because your ass belongs to me. Yeah, yeah, wait. For man to man, believe me, I know you'll be there, okay? I'm yeah, not right. questioning that. I'm just saying, well, I'm there to Hey, we understand fight. exactly what you're saying. If I have reason to you're fight, saying what you're I saying, the police nothing. didn't bother you or these other organizations didn't bother uh. you because people like this son of a bitch standing right here in my opinion, looking right here, they took their lights away. Hey, the police don't have time to sit outside your door. They don't have time to sit there and wait for you. See, I no. do. I've got all the time in the right. world, so does he. I know. Hey, and another thing, another thing, hold it. This guy right here, people like him, and people like him is the reason our police departments now are so underpaid, and the reason people like you can walk the streets just like you said, nobody's going to bother you, because right. they ain't got no money to do nothing with, because these people like him and people <laughs> like you. Why are you picking on me? Why are you picking on me? I agree, you know. I do have my life in prison. We'll be back in just a minute with questions from the water. Good evening, everyone. Coming up tonight on the News at 10. The worst Atlantic storm ever sweeps through Mexican resorts and heads for Texas. And protesters dangle from a bridge to make a point. And a special investigative report on mothers who run to protect their children from incest. 
That plus a used car scam that might affect you. All of that coming up tonight on the News at 10. Stay tuned. This update is brought to you by your Tri-State Jeep Eagle dealers. From sea to shining sea to your 1,500 Jeep Eagle dealers, starting our second successful year. Celebrating with a limited time offer on Eagle Premier. $750 cash back from Chrysler. Eagle Premier, so well engineered, it's been named best domestic four-door sedan in America. Look up, America! To Eagle Premier and Jeep Cherokee. See your tri-state Jeep Eagle dealer. Jeep Eagle, the newest division of Chrysler Corporation. Wall furniture outlets. WFO. Beautiful wall units from WFO. Wall furniture outlets. We make the most of your walls with one of the largest selections of wall systems and bookcases anywhere. Modern, traditional, contemporary, and European. All at WFO's low prices. Wall furniture outlets. We make the most of your walls. They're strangers who met by accident. Both take chances. One takes too many. He's 6'1", 180 pounds. Thinks he's a beautiful human being. He's a dabbler. He likes everything. Something I never planned got out of control, and I can't talk about it. Matt Dillon. I got a 45 slug with your name on it. Andrew McCarthy. Kansas, rated R. Starts Friday, September 23rd. Pete Dawkins, finished at the top of his class at West Point. Picked as an All-American halfback, Pete won the coveted Heisman Trophy. He was selected as a Rhodes Scholar and later received a Ph.D. from Princeton in public affairs. Served America in Vietnam and won two bronze stars for courage in combat. Pete Dawkins, teacher, businessman. Pete Dawkins, ready to put a lifetime of experience and leadership to work for New Jersey. Pete Dawkins, leadership for New Jersey's future. Atlantic City, showboat, flaming Caucasians, yeah! and some flaming, and some flaming pablum pukers here too. All right, let me introduce you at Loudmouth One. Let's go through the whole cycle here. Let's go to a bail bondsman. All right, Paul Jacobs. Paul, how you doing, pal? Fine. How are you, Mark? For those that haven't uh, been in jail, what does a bail bondsman do? Well, what a bail bondsman does is when an individual is arrested and bond is set on them, the first thing they want to do is be released. Now, they have one of three choices. Excuse me. She they got have... that all over your coat. No. <laughs> well, shit, what did I tell you about sneezing on my coat? Now, what they have is one of three choices. They can either put up a cash bond in which they receive the entire amount back after their case is disposed of. They can put up a real estate bond where they pledge the equity in their property, which most of them don't have, and they can call a bail bondsman and pay him 10% and secure their release immediately. So, but if you got a guy who's up, you got a guy who wants out. Your house if you run. No, we never took anyone's house. Yeah, we can take a, a, a signature and put a, a lien on their house, and if they run, we can foreclose on it eventually. Yeah, so if a guy has a hundred thousand, no, I ain't never taken anyone's house. Dollar, guy has a hundred thousand dollar bail. You right. put up ten thousand. You put up ninety thousand. He puts up ten thousand. That's, I put up the whole 100000 and I take the 10000 as our fee. Okay, the 10000 becomes your fee. Now, Not let me right go to... Uh, company. Let me go to John Perry. Bail bondsmen like Paul, John, are not, of course, uh, your favorite people. In fact, you have no respect whatsoever for bail bondsmen, do you? I think they're legalized, justified loan sharks. And he just stayed in there right then and there. What's the difference? No, how that's would you like, that's How would you work. like it? Just let him out with nothing, right? No, no. If the guy can't make bail, let him sit in jail. You again, you again don't seem to understand the law of the United States. The law of the United States allows for reasonable bail. Am I right? That's correct. And you're presumed innocent until proven yeah, guilty. Exactly. Whether he kills this guy five wants people or one person, right? I don't think this day and age. I'm no loan shark, Mark. I'm regulated by the laws of the state of Connecticut, and I abide by those laws. 
Oh, he has this this man over here doesn't like anyone. You're saying he has a right. right. favorite Hey, Perry. Perry, you're saying he hasn't got a right to make a living, but you could be the Tom. Let me ask you something. Why How much do you charge them? an hour Why does for your he go services? And get them? How much do you charge an hour for your services? Why doesn't Why Lee Iacocca drive the test cars for Christ? Yeah. Yeah. You oh my God. Yeah, okay. yeah, all right, no. You remind here. me of my doctor. He's an eyes, ears, nose, and wallet specialist. Hey, Stan. Stan, you've been doing this since 1955. Have you ever had to kill someone in an attempt to apprehend them? And what is the allure of the job, number two? And finally, uh, the most dangerous situation you ever put into. Did I ever have to kill anybody? No comment on that. All right. Uh, Why not? God bless him. Have you ever had to kill someone? No comment. What is uh, the allure of the job? The allure is... Number one, money. Number two, getting these dirt bags off the street. Everybody is worried about losing the house. I mean, about the guy, the, vic, the uh, what do you call it, the uh, criminal. fugitive, the criminal. Nobody's worried about the criminal's parents who put their home up, they might lose it. You don't want to take the house or Don't jump bail. They, they're not worried about the potential victims. When this guy jumps bail, he's on the street again doing his thing again. I Whose mean, fault is, is that? It? Whose fault is that? Whose fault is right that? This no, guy, right no, that's it's not my fault. fault. The Constitution the says that you're presumed innocent until proven guilty. The justice system, not him. Don't, he, don't, don't, ever, don't ever get busted and have to be on bail. A big bail. Don't call him. And if you do jump bail, look for him and I. We'll do it for nothing. We'll pick him up and run. Dr. D, let me ask Stan first. Before I ask uh, Dr. D the same question, what's the most dangerous situation you ever put in? I've been in a lot of dangerous situations. Uh, had anyone pull a gun on you? Well, I've been shot, I've been stabbed, you I've been slashed. You've had someone pull a knife on you? Yeah, I, I can't show where my wounds are because... Uh, <laughs> but uh, I've had uh, the helicopters, uh, these Jamaican posses, this drug, everything related to drugs. Uh, I've had some really, really ticklish situation. You know, speaking of uh, drugs, speaking of drugs, our pal here, the ex-convict, all right, is uh, working with kids and keeping them off drugs now, aren't you? Yes, I... <laughs> I'm working with them. The trouble with the system, the trouble with the system is they do, they let the uh, people out on bail and they're so drugged up, they'll go out in another corner an uh, hour later and shoot up again and they'll land up stabbing some innocent and it happened in my hometown and let's remember gino something very interesting i'm sure our bail bondsman can uh, can attest to this you got some while we're talking about bounty hunters pis bail bondsmen ex-convicts you got some lawyers in this country the client gets picked up all right they want them out on bail they put up the ten thousand dollars bail the client gets out that lawyer has a twenty five thousand dollar fee coming he turns his back and looks the other way while that client goes out and raises the money, doesn't he? A lot of times. A lot of times. So the lawyers... I'll tell you what drugs will get done. them next. Right, I'll tell you what drugs have done. It's breaking, it's breaking our nation, our family unity. It's Drugs has breaking the family unity. All right, and I tell you, Gino, next we'll hunt down some opinions from the audience, man. Yeah. Yeah. Ninety-nine percent of the time, how your engine performs is the last thing you think about. Oh, 
mom! Aren't you glad Sitco's Performer Gasoline is there when you do? For the performance you need, buy the Performer. Hi. Premium unleaded gasoline. Nice car. From Sitco, the sign of quality. Enough. Deal. Did somebody say deal? Your Dodge dealer has hot numbers and big rebates on almost everything in stock. Get a hot Dodge Daytona, save up to five ninety. dollars Dodge Shadow, save up to six hundred. dollars Or Dakota Pickup, save up to twenty-two fifty. dollars So if you want a great deal, hey! Well, are you going to deal? Did somebody say deal? See your Tri-State Dodge dealers today for final clearance on all Dodge cars and trucks. Today, 18 million eat this as bread. 55 million eat this. 240 million eat this. But only 8 million eat this as bread. These people produce more safe cars and blonde beauties. They invented the Nobel Prize and the zipper. They also play better tennis and they watch less television. That's the Swedish way. Wasa Crispet, you can have it in America. Charles Bronson is back with a deadly assignment. What is it? An avenging angel. Two families are wiping each other out. No one is talking. Do you have enemies? Someone who wishes... What's happened? No one will listen. What do you care if two crazies kill each other? And it's up to him to stop the madness. Charles Bronson stars in Messenger of Death. Rated Messenger off. of Death starts Friday at a theater near you. I want to remind some of you and uh, take a look at it, Mr. Ferry. There'll be a movie out pretty soon on the dock here. It's called Doc's Law. Yeah! So, so yeah, that's what I'm let me go. Let me go to the audience here. See what you guys have to say, you right. ladies. Go ahead, right. pal. I have no problem with these guys making money to go out there and capture criminals. I mean, oh. if they have to go out there and get violent criminals like that, let them make every dollar they can get. Uh, how much money do you make, incidentally? Well, what's your 20%, average split? 20% of the bail. 20% of the total line, bail. Tw bottom line, 20. It depends on the length of time, the nature of the crime. That's how I judge my fees on, and I get them. Okay, dude. And then you make everything you can get for it, too. Well, I don't think that criminals should get bail at all, but as long as they're getting it and they're jumping it, they're free to go on a crime spree as long as they're out there. So I think we should thank God for people like Dr. Yeah. Dave. Yeah. What's your point, Mr. Gandhi? These guys are legit, right? Who are you talking about? We're, we're the sleazeballs that are getting out of jail and, and, and going out on the street with guns and blah, blah, blah. Who are these people? You know them? You know them? He's got no opinion. Do you know, do you know who these people are? Do you know who these people are? Hey, hey, look, let's stop right now. Let's stop. You ask a question, you want an answer? You want an answer? You want an answer? Yeah, We're not justifying the sleaze balls as you call them. We're talking about the other side of the fence. We're talking about accountability, and that's the one word I'm going to come back to time and time again. If you want to have vigilantes running over the country, that's your problem. But the Constitution of the United States need not be raped by anybody. Beats the hell need out not of be raped by anybody. Beats the hell out of, out of, rape, the the hell out of being boy. raped by one of the guys he let out yeah. and run. You don't have a clue, bud. Thank you, Morning. I just have a question for Mr. Rifkin. Uh, yeah, do you carry a firearm? <coughs> do you carry a firearm? Who, me? Yes, Mr. I do. Mr. Rifkin, you too? Most of the time, I don't. I, I, yes, I am. Are you I licensed? said most of the time, are you I don't. To, are you licensed to carry, like, in all 50 sure. states, or you have to get... No. There's no such thing as fe federal license. Be quiet, man. Eh? Listen, I got a question. There's no such... Stop speaking here. I got the mic. There's no such thing...
So what you're saying, what what you're saying then is, if you want to carry a weapon in another state, you have to apply for a license in that state. Yeah, there's no such thing as a federal license to carry in every state. There's no okay. such thing. Now, Does that I, answer it? You know, I know it's pretty hard to get a permit in New York City. Does just being a bounty hunter give you the? Uh, no. The, if anything, they'll knock you down you on a stuck, license. Pal. If anything, they'll look. <laughs> you think? You think <laughs> Let me hear you, pal. Let me hear you. All right, here we go. Let me hear you. I, I just want to make a few comments. Sir, do you carry a gun? Yes. Yeah, put it to your head and shoot yourself. Yeah! Yeah! All right, pal. Go ahead, pal. I got a question for you. Are you married? You're not married? All right, say somebody raped your mother, okay? And the, they got out on bond, okay? They jumped it, okay? Now, I mean, you know, say they, they heard it bad, okay? And then they send one of these guys out to get them. Are you, are you against that? I go against it. Yes, no, no, wait, no, no. Yeah, but not everybody Shut up. Can do that. Okay, no, no, all right, you got a gun, right? You go after the guy. You're going to go after, you're going to hurt him, you're going to just say, you know, grab him. What are you going to do? He wouldn't go after him. That's right. right. He would, he would. Let me clarify something. He wouldn't go after him for not getting paid unless he caught him. He wouldn't go after him. And even step if he got paid, I don't think Barry, he'd go after him. step into the, the mic. Like step into the mic. Muscle. Muscle. The step into the, the mic. Yeah, of course. Right. Step That's in totally close illegal. to the mic. Yeah. Yeah. It's illegal. It's not illegal. If it was illegal, they wouldn't be doing it, would they? These guys don't go by the book. They don't. What do you mean we don't go by the book? What do you mean? Did you have a gun to your head? Would you go by the book? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. How many times, you know, you you times you have you put a gun to the head of a person you're bringing in? It doesn't matter. How many times it does have matter. they had the gun pulled on them? What do you want them to do? What do you think huh? we are? What running are around with say? guns, putting it into people's heads? They got a permit. Most of my people got a permit too. You don't want them to pull a gun if somebody's pulling one on them? But that's not the question you asked me. Most of my pickups are peaceful. Most of my peaceful are peace, uh, pickups are peaceful surrenders. I get them in the crib when they don't expect it. Okay, but Before what do you they ask know me? it, they're gift wrapped, they're on the way. Okay, let, yeah. let, 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 let me go this, pal. Here, let me go this. Let's keep this with the audience. Go ahead, yeah, First of all, I think 20% of the fee is nothing to keep the slum the slime buckets out of our streets and our streets safe. And I especially comm I want to commend you guys who are doing the job, and not people like him who just sit behind a desk at times and try to do it my, by my mouth, and that's what's going on there. Probably his biggest cases are looking into a window while some guy's some chick for the one to go in. The number one family musical in America, Cats, the world's most thrilling theatrical event. Cats, the magic, the mystery, the memory will live forever. Cats, the seven-time Tony Award winner, the once-in-a-lifetime experience, the most exciting family musical in the word. Cats at the Winter Garden Theater. Call Telecharts 212-239-6200. I'm Bob Chisuli, mechanic, race car driver, and auto group president. Now at over 25 franchise locations throughout New Jersey, you can buy a car like never before. Gone forever is the fear and tension of negotiating price, because my display cars have red tag marked down pricing right on the window. Waiting for sales are a thing of the past. Buy the car you want with everyday low pricing and savings you can see. For complete financing, award-winning service in a Bob Chisuli location, call 1-800-USA-AUTO. Calling one of the girls? Don't. Wait till you see what's going on at Wallbounds. Get the scoop on delicious Dolly Madison regular or light ice cream. A half gallon is just $1.79. Eat your veggies. Stokely single serve frozen vegetables. Wallbound priced at 99 cents assorted varieties. And oh boy, it's Andy Boy California broccoli. Pick a bunch for only 99 cents. You'll call tomorrow. Come share our values. Wallbounds. There's something out there, a force, and nothing can stop it. The Army National Guard. 
Serve two days a month and two weeks a year. And find out how it feels when nothing but nothing can stand in your way. The Irresistible Force, Army National Guard. You know, I don't always have the last word. There's plenty to say tonight, plenty left to say. So you stick around because the news at 10 is dead ahead. Mm, this tastes like Carvel ice cream, but it really is an ice cream. Darling, that's a contradiction. Mm, and it's made fresh at Carvel. Mm, tell me more. And it only has 18 and a half calories per fluid ounce. Well, you're going to give me some? It comes in lots of flavors. What is it? Feed me, feed me. <laughs> it's Thinny Thin, a dietary frozen dessert, and I got it at Carvel. Thinny Thin? Yeah. Anything for fatty fats like you. Now, come on, give me some. Okay, here, it's all yours. Hey, you finished it! <laughs> Pal, while we got the time, you grab the mic. Okay, I just want to say that, uh, first of all, I know that Dr. D is a licensed uh, private investigation in, Con in Connecticut, state of Connecticut. Also a PI doc, yes, right? Yes, I am. So you're in the same business, old s oh, But I don't do what he does. You don't know what I do. I know exactly what you do. <laughs> Second of all, I want to say that I worked with him on a professional level, and he's very professional uh, at his job, at what he does. That's right. That man in the street crime. I just want to say, I, I just want to say, I see drugs every day, and I say, and uh, I think, I think they should all be put behind bars. And I think what these people are doing is very brave, because some of these people are not just fooling around, and these people should be out on the streets putting drug dealers away. Uh, that's here from the Seattle Seahawks, who flop every year. Come on, Seattle. I'm a police officer in New Jersey. One of the reasons why you need guys like this is because the cops' hands are tied because of what they call prosecutorial guidelines. That's right. The prosecutor comes out and makes rules that you can't shoot at a car if the guy's shooting at you if that car is moving. Well, these guys can do it. You can't chase speeding cars. You find a guy on a warrant and you go after him, all right? he jumps into a speeding car and takes off. You can't speed after him because if you're going to put somebody else in danger, these guys, I'm sure, would go right after him. That and uh, the money. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Mr. Perry. Now, you say the cops don't like, here's a policeman, right? You say the cops don't like, I mean, your whole argument's been shot full of Swiss cheese. Right. <laughs> Let me hear from this gentleman. This, go ahead, pal. Okay, I just like to say one thing. You got these people who commit crimes like rapes, murder, you get a, they get really good lawyers. They go out free. I say an eye for an eye. Because some smart-ass lawyer is going to set them free. What about someone's wife who gets killed? What's the husband? Oh, they're out free because some good lawyer did it? Kill them. Kill a slob. Can't do that. Can't do that. They can't do that. Can't they do that. can't do it. But they can capture the guy, throw him in jail, go after where he gets some rough sacks. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> Mort, I just wanted to say that if, like, somebody I knew was raped, I'd rather have Dr. D chasing the guy down than Jerry Garcia's grandpa over here. That's right. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, these bounty hunters are the only option when criminal scum can walk down the street and brag. Brag. <laughs> brag that they or wanted for a crime, and that the police aren't even looking for them. They can commit crime after crime after crime before somebody finds them. And as for the fact that this guy's saying anybody can go out after him, a bad bounty hunter is a dead bounty hunter, and it's the good ones who should go after these guys. Hey, man, and testify, sister. That is the whole truth. Up and up. from our tax dollars, can't go out and do the job, and it takes men with guts and courage to go out and bring the scum off the street. No, you're wrong. They got, scum, they got courage, and they got guts, and they wouldn't have a badge, and they wouldn't have a gun. Right. It's these people like this and like that. That's right. right. That's right. I'm behind you all the way. That's right. Yeah. I'm telling you, law enforcement scum, no 
I didn't say there was scum. I said if our tax dollars can tend to the job done, then you should do it. Then you should do it. You don't hear my point of view. You're out there every day, buddy. And if they say, if every vote is over, lay down there and do them today, you'd be the first one crying for protection. I said if they can't do it with our tax dollars. Seems to me it's pretty damn unanimous, doesn't it? We have... are the last of a dying breed, babes, all right? They're not only tough enough to go after the dangerous dregs of society who've seeped through the hands of justice, but I got a proposal. If a bounty hunter catches them and the police turn them loose again, let the bounty hunter pick them up, stuff them, and hang them over the fireplace, all right? Tomorrow night, a show on gambling from right here at the showboat in Atlantic City. Good night. Not prejudiced. Now, look, I spent 20 years. Rubs down. I spent 20 years in professional wrestling. No tennis. That's I spent right. 28. Good. Well, yeah, you spent eight more than I did. Yeah, you so you're a grandpa guy. You started. That's a preliminary, but boy. When is, you came in. Well, it's a whole lot of folks that I didn't talk to. Right. You have. That's right. favorite in wrestling today, Captain Lou Albano. Transportation for the Morton Downey Jr. Show, furnished by Redwood Limousine. When in New York, call 212-226-7665. I believe the children of the future Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. If you could help just one child, if you could change just one life, would you do it? Through Foster Parents Plan, you have the power to lift a child and family out of shocking poverty. And for so very little, you can help them have life-saving food and vaccines, clean water, schooling, and above all, hope. All it takes is $22 a month, just 72 cents a day. When you call, we'll send you your foster child's picture and personal progress reports. You'll see a life transformed, and you'll feel a part of it through personal notes and drawings. Help a needy child discover a truly great love. Your love. To pay or not to pay, that is the question. To wit, I respond in kind, I shall not pay a lot for this muffler. Don't give us no double dribble, because we are not going to pay a lot for this muffler. No problem. At Meineke, we install quality Everlast mufflers from just 1893. Installed. Meineke, thou art the fairest of the fair. I'm not going to pay a lot for this muffler. You're not going to pay a lot for quality at Meineke. Summer at Beaver Creek Resort, Colorado. Come discover the art of fly fishing on private stretches of rivers and ponds high in the spectacular Rocky Mountains. The three-day Orbis Fly Fishing School is a wonderful opportunity to enjoy a Colorado vacation while learning to fly fish. Complete school packages, including luxury lodging, start at just $636 per person. The Rocky Mountains are waiting for you at Beaver Creek Resort, Colorado. A new addition, shut up, zip it. A new addition on home base, all right? Yeah. Connected with wrestling like nobody else has ever been. Wrestling's ambassador, he served as a pro wrestler, a promoter, manager, 
a movie star. I mean, you go on it. He's got it all. Lou Albano, the captain. Yeah. Listening to everything that's been going on in the show, Mr. Wilson here has, uh, was just applauding you. It means even he...